How's everybody doing today? Right here in New Tazewell, working on an old job site. Got a few trees to take down, but this one, I've got my rope in right now. We're not taking down. I think it's a ponderosa, which is weird for East Tennessee, but it could be a short needle or just a big jack pine. I don't know. We're gonna go up and take a look. Let's go. Also, we're doing single rope today. Spurless ascent because we're just taking a look at it. Ground based rescue right here. Butterfly knot, double balling with a Yosemite finish, and tied off to a ladder rack. There's another ladder rack here. Act as weight, help pull down as I get started up. Also going up with a unisender, which I absolutely love. I used to run a spider jack until I found the unisender. Now, it's only the unisender. So as we go up, enjoy the view. And YouTube, if you feel like posting anything. Ooh, just got a text message. If you like posting anything, feel free to. All right, here's the second second point of attachment is the hand ascender. Help keep me a little bit more vertical. You know, ascender is attached to a swivel. I have a problem with new ropes wanting to spin on me until I get them all broke in. I'm climbing on 11.7 Tropical Ivy from Cheryl Tree. And... I just realized I forgot one part, my top tether. So let me go get it real quick. Little retrieval ball right there, doing double rope. Come on, unhook me. There we go. <sighs> I'll take a little pause. Okay, and we're back. Top tie-in point. Come on, there we go. Unit sender is all hooked up. Get some weight on it. Huh. A little bit of slack in my bungee cord. Bungee cord right here helps mine the Uni sender. Uh, all right, I checked it for tensioning. Reset my weight. Yeah, so I'm at full hang right now. It's clipped in. All right, where am I going to wind up? Yeah. I have to say, I absolutely love. Ah, oh, crap! Got that one hooked up upside down. Absolutely love clip and step boots. If you haven't tried them, you need to. All right, if I can write myself. glove I 
Big old tree. Go up here and take a look at this union. That's a persimmon tree. Awesome. Come on. Termites. Whoa. Oh, it slipped. Whew. Man, I love being up in trees. There's my tip. It's Norris Lake, one of Norris's marinas. I'm up here. Take some pictures of this. Come on. <sighs> oh, good tree. Good save tree. Don't worry. I'm not taking you out. I'm just climbing you. Seeing what you are. Listen to a little bit of Death Clock. If you haven't heard them, look them up. Great band. Oh. 
Also, doing any type of ascent with mechanical ascenders, when you go put them up, make sure your cams are locked. Otherwise, they'll grab the rope and slow down your progress going down. It's happened to me a couple times. Take that off. That's my rope walker setup. I'm part of it. Saka by CT. Unfortunately, it frayed on me one of the first few times I used it. But I hooked it up with the Prusik. Now it's adjustable. A lot more versatile. So if you got long legs or short legs, you're not set at 17 inches, you can run all the way up or run all the way down. Actually, with this setup, I'm about three inches further than where the loop was. And that works a lot better for me. Also wear an Eldred CT full body harness. Not CT, uh, CL Plus. So, fan of full body harnesses. He lets you go inverted if you want. Alright, I'll unhook this. Just take the spare bungee and hook it on your harness somewhere. Where it's not life safety. Doesn't matter. Pouring sweat now. All right. I'm looking about 70. I'll have to tie a knot in the bottom of it, figure out just exactly how tall it was. I'm guessing 70. Forgot my tape. Actually, you know what? I'll hook my tape back up and climb up here, but I don't think I'm going to record it. I'll just take some pictures. <sighs> Ooh. Peeling out some bark. Never thought I'd see the day I'd climb with the cell phone. Working by myself, I kind of have to. Put my hand out there as a reference. One of the tallest trees on this property by far. I've got a persimmon tree over there to take out. It's leaning over the house. There's a chestnut tree down there. Full of chestnuts right now. And I've got another pond on the other side of that. I think persimmon or wild cherry. I don't know. Take out. It's, it's leaning over the house pretty good. <clears throat> um, so post most of these videos. And if you can see that cedar tree that's dead, now in the deck, we're going to take that out as soon as I come down. So now, I hook my tether. Pull this up a little bit. Yeah, I got my work line up here too. Thought I'd do some worm walking, but decided against it. All right, make sure I got my weight on the system. A good healthy limb right up on it. Yeah. 
wearing a PMI chest rig. Has small first aid kit, phone, watch, extra bottle of water on it. All right. Love it. Plus, it's got my iPod. So now, we're going down. Oops. That don't sound good. Oops. Sorry, tree. And contact the ground. Release tension. Catch my breath. We're going back up. This time with my tape. Well, the German Shepherds of the neighborhood. Come here. They barked at us the first couple days, but he's gotten used to us. I'm being beanie weenies and not beanie weenies, uh, being a sausage. So I befriended him. Come here. Come here, hot dog. Yeah, say hi, YouTube. Woo. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oop, oh, boat horn. All right, we're back. 70 foot. The top of my rope here. It's one of the tallest climbs I've had. Probably another 20 foot. So looking about a 90 foot tree. Well, climbed it and 228. It's not record setting, but that's good enough for me. So now we'll come down. A quick drink of Gatorade. We'll go over there and tackle that cedar tree. 